Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Clone Trooper X, and out here doing another weekly update. Now, I haven't done an update or a vlog in a few weeks now, and that is due to the problem that I lost my SD card for my camera that had a um, bunch of clips from a weekly update pre-recorded onto it. Now it's going to pile them all into one video, and it's going to be really awesome. But now that's all out of date, but I found my card, so we got a lot to talk about. So, first off, BritCon is in six days. Um, actually, by the time you see this, this will probably be Monday, um, but I'm recording this on Saturday. Anyways, so, I've been slowly setting up my BritCon table like I'll have it at the convention, but I guess I'm just going to go over kind of what I'm bringing to BritCon, some new stuff that's coming out, as well as the mess that is my Lego room. Alright, so first off, um, this is kind of not a full, like I still got all that space I gotta figure out what I'm doing with. But basically we got plate lockers, which normally retail for $15, but they're always on sale at conventions for $12. So I'm gonna have a bunch of those. I got a bunch of Mixels. Um, those will be, I think, $8. And then we got a bunch of brick arms, citizen brick, printed stuff, you name it, it's here. You know, we got like guitars, um, we've got prototypes, all sorts of stuff, and my computer just turned on. We got a bunch of production brick arms in here, citizen brick printed items there, like legit a lot of this. And this isn't even all of it, I still have a whole freaking bag full of stuff just like that. Yeah, it was right over there. Then we got a bunch of bulk Lego, you know, just parts for really cheap. Um, you know, all that for five dollars, and that's not even like a half of it. I have like ten times as much as this. So um, definitely come check out my booth at BrickCon 2014 in Seattle, Washington. And if you are looking for anything particular, ask me because. I'll have bins and bins of this behind my table. And then we got figures that'll be going here, and some of the figures that are gonna be going there are like the mismatched colored Americans that are freaking awesome. And I know you guys love these Mitch Mask Mitch mix matched colors. Say that five times fast. And then we got a few other figures like Pokemons in random colors. We also um, I released a few new figures the other day on Flickr. One was the Chinese engineer, the other was Hawkman, but I have to call him Birdman for copyright. And then the last one was the Multicam Cadet. Now, I showed renders, the official pictures will be going up probably today, but since this video is going to be going up Monday, I guess I can show you now. So I got a bunch of mix matched uh, bleh, Hawkmans. So I'll just show you here. As well as I made 11 cadets in white. So this is all white parts instead of the regular tan, like, if I reach over here, here's the regular tan one, which they both look freaking amazing, but there's only 11 of these white ones made, so that's a limited edition run. Those will be $25, same with Hawkman, $25. Um, but, these will have collector cards, these won't, because I'm just going to set them out on those stands, like I just said. Um, but one awesome feature about this minifigure is it is printed, yeah, on the side of the torso, so underneath the arms. Barely anyone does that. There's only been, I think, Victor Eclipse Graphics did one or two figures. But that's freaking awesome. For $25, you can't go wrong with that. Um, so it definitely adds to the experience. Um, also, let's see, I don't know if I want to show you this or not. I'll keep it a secret. You might see it in the video, so keep your eyes peeled. But, um, first off, here is the new M16A4 prototype weapon that I created myself. So if I can get that to focus, nice. So yeah, these will be available for sale individually in all black like this. Or, you can get the awesome overmolded version. This has an aluminum tube, so there's a hole in the end of the barrel, and it's actual real metal, so it gives it some cool weight to it, as well as has a hole in the barrel, which 
adds a lot of detail to it and those will be five dollars so that's really competitive compared to some other vendors that sell theirs for like twenty dollars so yeah so i got you know just bags of printed stuff i've got to assemble as well as i'm bringing simpsons minifigures i got 20 of those then here we go we got the hawkman parts and i guess i could go over here here's what the standard hawkmans look like so got those and this is what one completely assembled will look like if i can do this one handed there we go so he has his wings and his helmet so that that freaking looks awesome for 20, 25 dollars you can't go wrong in that um let's see here also in that update that the footage was lost i got my l1 f3 bricks sig fig so sorry man um i might if i end up editing this video i'll try to find the clip of me opening that up but thank you very much for that sig fig that's freaking awesome so you're up here um i'll fix that later you're up there laying down between um, me and brick designs so there you go um what else we got plenty plenty of work to do i do have I guess I could go back over here. Um, so we got figures. There's going to be the military rack, kind of the movie TVs, and then these are the three slots for the new figures. Um, this rack will be all Minecraft tools. Um, and I'm not bringing a whole lot of these packs. That just fell. Um, but the packs of five. Now, there's going to be a price drop on those. So those going to be 50% off. That's right, 50% off all Minecraft tools and Minecraft packs. So they are $1 each, which is a great deal. So definitely stock up um, when you get there. And a new product that's coming out for BrickCon as well. Yep, so an Ultimate Craftsman Tool Mystery Pack. So that'll contain five tools. That's what these are for. So it will contain one of each tool in a random exclusive swirled color. Now, also one in five. So if you buy five packs, you have a chance of getting a handmade prototype um, Minecraft tool. As well as one in 15, you will get a, for example, an overmolded item. So it could be a sword, it could be a pickaxe, it could be a shovel. So that gives you some incentive to try to get a um, pack and I might do for most of the um, prototypes I might do these enchanted swirled ones because I think those are pretty cool because um, I don't think I'm out of space to sell these I might put them in a separate bin but I'm not sure um, then we got some fan mail we got to open up so let's go here we go move this out of the way I'm gonna have to do this one hand I open it because I knew um, this would happen so see if I can get this out one-handed now I not gonna read the note because sometimes people write things that they don't want um, YouTube to see come on no there's something in there there we go and I've not opened up the sig fig I just opened up the package all right so this is from Sam here we go all right, so we got Scout 4154 Sig Fig. Awesome. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Here we go. You know what? This is this is really difficult. I'm I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> Let's set the camera down. Yeah, you can see the reflection right there of the camera. He packed it really nice. That's good. Ooh, this looks awesome. Here we go. Dude, that is a sweet sig fig. Let's take this out. Again, one-handed. Here we go. This one's hand-painted, it looks like. That's awesome. So that's Scout. He even wrote Scout on the coffee mug. That's awesome. So he's got his shirt, painted the boots, he's got a little watch. That's awesome, man. 
So thank you so much for your sig fig. That is going over here with the sig figs. There you go. You got your spot. So shout out to Scout1454. Um, that's awesome sig fig. So now you're up there. Now I have three sig figs. No, four sig figs, not including mine. I still got to find Lego Hobbit in this mess. Sorry, Lego Hobbit. Um, but also, after BritCon, I'm moving. Yeah, I'm moving all of this. All of it moving. That is insane. Um, but I'm going to have to wrap this video up um, on that note because my camera is going to die and I really don't feel like editing this video. So, sorry about no updates, but I'm super busy as you can tell. Lots of new things coming soon um, after BritCon and there will be a huge Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale on my website. Um, but definitely check out um, x39brickcustoms.com. We will be going to Brick con seattle here this weekend um so yeah i'll be there thursday through sunday i get there thursday at like probably 2 30 no 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 no, not 2 30 um maybe let's say 3 30 and i'm leaving sunday night at about four um so yeah i'll be there the whole weekend um and my friend sean's staying at my house so i might do some vlogs with him and yeah so that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments below, out of all the new products I showed you, what, which one you like the most, and then I'll know that you watched the full video. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I will see you guys at BritCon.